In my presentation, uh, I, I'll have an opportunity to talk about the patients with pulmonary fibrosis. And in the beginning, uh, there was a lot of concern about uh, this group of patients because uh, on one side, we know that pulmonary fibrosis is a risk factor for lung cancer. And uh, those group of patients uh, have lung cancer more than other uh, regular population, regardless of smoking. But on the other hand, uh, they have uh, lots of um, uh, concerns uh, according to, uh, to safety, or that there is a, they have big toxicity. Um, and uh, we, we, we know that surgery is not the best choice, uh, choice for them due, due to the fact that uh, these patients had a lot of acute exacerbation after surgery resection and the mortality rate of, of acute exacerbation is big. Then um, uh, radiotherapy also brings high risks due to pneumonitis and also chemotherapy, which brings uh, lots of exacerbation of uh, pulmonary fibrosis. So the, finally, we had um, uh, I mean, uh, immune uh, checkpoint inhibitors and the um, question about that was, um, are they really safe for this group of patients? How big really is the risk of pneumonitis for patients for pulmonary fibrosis? And fortunately, there were a few interesting studies that um, showed us that um, uh, there is a, a good efficiency of immunotherapy, and we're talking about PD-1 PD and PD-L1 uh, treatment approach, but... Um, Still, um, there is a bit um, higher uh, um, risk of pneumonitis in those group uh, of patients also. So the close monitoring is, is highly recommended for these patients also. But uh, I must say that um, pneumonitis are um, in majority of patients low grade and, um, after, uh, and it can be approved uh, with discontinuation of immunotherapy or um, the administration of glucocorticoids. Steroids. So, this could be our uh, conclusion that uh, maybe uh, this approach, immunotherapy together with antifibrotics, uh, perhaps should be the best frontline treatment for this group of patients.